Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is the game. Jeremy McWilliams. Remember the name. I am excited. I feel like a kid on Christmas morning right now. I finally pulled the trigger on a new camera and it says, as you guys saw in the clip, that it will be here by 9 p.m. Hopefully it gets here um, a lot quicker than that because I wanna do some filming. I wanna test it out. I, got a, I have a new podcast that's all lined up, all planned out. I actually recorded it yesterday on my iPhone, which is what I'm using right now. And then I was like, you know what? Let's just wait till the camera gets here. So I'm gonna re-record everything. Hopefully the video quality will look even better. Uh, once it gets here, I'll show you guys what it is. You saw a little picture of it. Some of you might know based on that picture. Some of you may not, I don't know. But yeah, I can't wait to test it out. So uh, definitely looking forward to that. In the meantime, I'm just going to uh, keep filming with the good old iPhone 8 Plus. And you guys saw, I got it finally got a new, uh, a new little tripod for my phone because let's see where the last guy is it's quite an upgrade too i'm uh contradicting myself a little bit because i said in i think what was it the last vlog or the vlog before that i wasn't going to come on bag that i wasn't going to buy another joby product because the little like mini gorilla pod that i had it uh it didn't do too well it didn't last very long Fell off my desk the other day because this isn't it. This is actually a different one, but it looked just like this. This little top piece right here just fell off. <laughs> and then uh, it fell off my desk and it completely cracked. Here it is. So this little dude was like the Joby Gorilla Pod Jr. or something. I don't know what it's called. It's just like obviously a much smaller version than what's usually used for like DSLR cameras and stuff. And uh, yeah this broke i wasn't too happy about it this thing wasn't that great anyways honestly these little things after you start using them for a while like all these little bendable joints they just kind of wear out and then they're not nearly as uh stiff you know they're super loose so just the weight of my phone was causing like the top to tip over or if you used it for like a tripod half the time it would start collapsing you know like in the middle of recording something and you'd have to stop recording try and fix it and then before you knew it it was leaning over again so Replace this thing with the Joby, what is this thing called? Uh, Joby, I don't know what it's called. I think it's like the mobile lock or something. I think this is like the best tripod you can get for phones, at least from Joby. So I know I'm contradicting myself because I said I wasn't gonna buy another Joby product, but I was looking around at Best Buy yesterday and this one that I have now looks by far the best. And I did my research, read some, a lot of reviews and they're pretty dang positive. So. Uh, Fingers crossed this one lasts a lot longer and does a lot better than this guy over here. Anyways, I'm off to go grab a memory card for the new camera. But first, gotta get some H2O. And that's what I call high quality H2O. Anyways, if you guys can't tell, I'm slightly excited about this, but I'm super excited about the new camera. So I gotta wait for uh, Mr. Amazon Claus to drop that off the front door, and then I'll be testing that bad boy out. Back to this for a second though. This thing, you can see the size difference. Old one, new one, old one, new one. This thing seems a lot more sturdier. The build quality seems a lot, lot better. And the thing I liked most about it was uh, this part at the top. Seems like it will hold on to my phone about a million times better than the other one, which looked like one of these guys. And this is how it held on to your phone. Just, that's it. So, uh. Because of this, I didn't feel too comfortable walking around outside and holding this thing out in front of me with this being the only thing that held onto my stupidly overpriced expensive phone. So I never really walked around with this thing. The only time I used it was really when it was like just sitting there used as a tripod. 
rather than like a selfie stick or whatever you want to call it. But now I got this thing and I got about a million times more confidence that this will hold onto my phone and it won't drop it. Because the design's a lot better, but also this part's cool. If you push, you pop this little guy up, you can uh, put your phone in and then once your phone's secure in there, put it down and it locks it in place. And this little swivel part right here, it's locked in place too. The only way you can move it is to push this little button on the back and then it moves wherever you want it to. And then you let go of it and it's locked again. And it's actually pretty hard to press this button down. You gotta use a pretty decent amount of pressure to push this button down, which is cool. It means it probably won't accidentally press it. And then obviously it has this little function and that's it. It's simple, but I have faith in this one that it will get the job done. I'm happy about it because now I can walk around and instead of reaching my arm out as far as possible and holding my phone, I can just use this. So this thing should work good. It should, the video should look a lot better. Hopefully it will be a little more stable. And uh, that's all I gotta say about this guy for now. Anyways, um, where am I headed to now? That is a good question. Oh, got some H2O, most importantly. And uh, cause dang, it's hot out. It's already 83 degrees and it's, Still morning here in uh, Florida. So I think I'm going to head to the I don't know Walmart or Best Buy or something because I got to grab a memory card for the new camera. I don't want it to get here and then you know I'm not ready to record stuff because I got a bunch of stuff planned. Like I said, I already shot that podcast yesterday, but I was like. I didn't really, I wasn't really feeling the podcast anyways. I felt like I was uh, having a tough time getting my words out and everything was just, I don't know. It didn't seem like a great take anyway, so I'm not really too upset about having to re-record it, but I was like, you know what, if I gotta re-record it anyways, I may as well just wait till the new camera gets here and so I can check out, you know, the new, so I can check out the new video and see how much better it looks, so. That's what I'm gonna do. We got all kinds of video gains happening to this channel. We got some stability gains. We're gonna about to have some real video gains. The new camera shoots in 4K and it's got, I had like a couple requirements I needed in my camera purchase. One, it had to have a microphone in port so I could plug in an external mic. Actually gotta go grab one of those too from Best Buy or Walmart or whatever. Um, the second necessity was it had to have some type of flip screen, either it flips to the side or it flips to the top so I could use it for vlogging. So it has both of those. Uh, what was the other requirement? 4K video, that was one, so that was requirement number three. And oh yeah, a good um, autofocus, which I haven't tested out yet, but from what I read, it's pretty good. So. It checked all those boxes, and I'm excited, man. <laughs> I've been wanting to get a camera for a quite a while now, and I just haven't, I hadn't really found one that really like jumped out to me, like it would be a good fit for my needs. But I spent about five hours yesterday reading stuff, reading reviews and comparing some. I went to Best Buy to look at a couple and finally found the one that I ordered. So my goal was to spend under a thousand, but that was like um, assuming that I was gonna get a DSLR, so. It's actually just a point and shoot, which I'm fine with. You know, somewhere down the road, I'd like to have a nice point and shoot and a DSLR, and then also, you know, record. I'm still be, I'm still gonna be recording a bunch of stuff on the good old iPhone 8 Plus. That's probably what I'll use for the majority of my driving footage still, depending on how the dash cam is. If you guys saw, like two vlogs ago, had a company, they have a, they sell dash cams on Amazon, and they found me, I guess, through my YouTube channel. So they offered to send me some products to test out. So I picked one of the dash, cam dash cams and uh, the reviews were pretty solid. It says it shoots in, it has a front camera and a camera for the rear. So I think it said it shot in 1080p maybe for both. So if that's better quality than my phone, I'll probably use that for a lot of driving footage. But if it's not, or pretty much irregardless, I'm still gonna be using the iPhone 8 Plus a ton. Obviously it's the most convenient. The camera that I did get, I wanted to get a point and shoot because I wanted like a smaller camera, but the one I ended up choosing is pretty big for point and shoot. So as far as weight goes and all that, I have a feeling the uh, iPhone 8 Plus is still going to get a ton of use because it's just the most convenient, you know? You can shove it in your pocket pretty much wherever I can carry it with me, wherever I go. So 
should still be getting a lot of use out of the old iPhone. But now I got some options, and it's not a bad thing to have options. Come on, Kia. I got a hamster mobile in front of me that apparently they don't know which side the uh, gas is on. It's a green light, and they were just kind of hanging out there, enjoying the scenery. I'll tell you what, though, even though I didn't spend anywhere near a thousand on this camera, it's still hard spending, uh, dropping a couple hundred on a camera. But the way I justify it is pretty much an investment in my channel and an investment in my, you know, my future. So I'm not just blowing money on any, any random little thing. It, uh, it's not too hard to justify a purchase like that when, like I said, you're pretty much just making an investment in yourself. And that's what I'm doing. Now I got, uh, I got all the tools I need to make great videos, so there's no excuses. New gear, like the camera and this tripod, are just gonna motivate me even more to uh, shoot more content, up my content game, and make sure the quality continues to increase on all my videos. So no excuses, I got everything I need to make it happen. Just gotta go out there and do it. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna Nike it, just do it. I'm excited. I know I probably said that like a uh, hundred times in this video already, <laughs> but there's another one. Anyways, back to the video. But first, donuts. Donuts and coffee. Donuts always come first though. Hey, can I get a large hot coffee with cream and sugar? And then uh, two Boston cream donuts, one apple fritter, and one glazed donut? You said one glazed, an apple fritter. And uh, two Boston cream? Please pull around. All right, thank you. Fix that speaker, holy crap. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Man, I think my eardrums are broken now. <laughs> that speaker was uh, quite painful to listen to. It's like, it's not like there's a monster trying to eat it or something. Anyways, like I said, donuts come first. Especially apple fritters. So, uh, digging this bad boy. Mm hmm. Now, this is something I can get behind. Apple fritter for president 2020. You heard it here first. Well, that donut was delicious, but now I'm super thirsty. Hmm. Let's see if this works. Ready? Ah! It worked perfect. Why didn't I try this before? That was so easy. Perfect. Just what I needed. The next day. Six years of long days. I'm 23 like MJ. I'm here, up in the way. Used to be broke, but I knew what would change. Gave up my happiness, it was a shame. Caught up in numbers and getting the plays. I let it go, then I begun. Now that I'm back, I've been ready to run. No, it's a journey, but I'm always learning. I feel like the man that I knew I'd become. Yeah. Look at that booty. It's a big ass grill on the front. Looks good. I like, I like the red interior. I think I could deal with the... What is this thing called? The Lexus NX 200T. Yeah, uh, Lexus NX 200T. Yeah, um. Found it. Look at this beauty. This guy is coming home with me. Look at this bad boy. Perfect. Checks all the boxes. Everything we're looking for. In a... Uh, medium-sized SUV, <laughs> except for the uh, medium-sized part. He's got a lot of spunk and personality though, right? It makes up for uh, its lack in size. How much is this bad boy? 29999. Hmm. Maybe I'll offer them tree fitty. See what they say. Moving on. I'm getting lost in this place. This place is huge. Check this out. It's like a maze of cars. I'm pretty sure I lost the girlfriend. Spotted. Got him. What's up, dudes? If you couldn't tell, we are walking around a giant, what is this place called? Off-lease only? A giant car lot looking at cars. 
for our guests, me and my girlfriend. We both need a little upgrade. Hers is the Kia Rio. You always see me driving around in the delivery videos, and that thing's about as tiny as you can possibly get for a car. So, looking for a, uh, I don't know what we're looking for, like a mid size SUV, I guess, for her to do traveling in. And then I am, might actually do a little, couple, a little bit of a test drive in some of the cars I showed you in earlier in this video, especially that Lexus NX 200T Sport, I think is what it was called. Definitely digging that one. Then I gotta find something for me. Not from this place. I don't think we're buying anything from this place, but they had a huge inventory, so this is a good spot to uh, just walk around and actually get a feel for the car. Look inside of it, check it out in person rather than just see pictures. I'm looking at uh, possibly getting a Mini Cooper Countryman S all four if they have one. So I gotta find that. Let's go. Was there an Acura here you wanted to look at? Hmm. What about the hamster mobile? Sure, you don't want to get the burger colored hamster mobile and call it a day. I'm good. Are you sure? Well, they got like a bunch of options. You can choose this burger color one, that burger color one, that burger color one. There's three different ones. Did you take pictures of them so we can test drive them at least? What do we have here on Macan? 43999. Maybe a tad out of the old price range. 2017 though, not too shabby. 43999. All right, what is this? Cayenne? I believe it is. Check out the Bodhi for confirmation. Ooh, the Cayenne S with the little yellow outline. I dig it. Another Macan. All right, I need to get out of the Porsches. Clearly, this section is not for me. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Okay. How do I get out? Ooh, I like that. The brake calipers are that same neon yellow. And we got a little badge with the yellow outline, too. All right, anyways, moving on. Move it along. Get it together, Jeremy. Two hours later. And just like that, I'm back to the editing desk. So, car shopping, good times. Uh, girlfriend definitely found something that she likes a lot, so uh, I guess that's good, right? Kinda. Good for her, maybe not so much for the old bank account, but uh, yeah, we found something we liked. Might go back and check it out again tomorrow or later today i don't know um anyways enough talking about cars let's get to the main topic of discussion which was supposed to be like the main point of this video which i haven't even had time to mess around with and i was so excited about getting it is this guy the old what is this thing called here's the box panasonic lumix fc 300 that's why i ended up with that's what this guy is. I haven't had much time to mess around with it lately, which I'm a little disappointed about, but I did charge the battery. I have messed around with it a tad bit. Uh, and the next podcast will definitely be recorded with that guy. I gotta figure out how to connect it to my podcast mic or maybe go get a different mic for it. I don't know. I don't know which route I'm going, but I gotta figure out like the whole setup because everything's new right now. Gotta get myself a little bit familiar with it, mess around with it a little bit and try mess it around. Mess, let me try that again mess around with it a little bit and try and get the hang of it so the video actually looks good like it should at least hopefully a lot better than the iphone video that's the goal so that's the update on that i wish i had more of an update i wish i had time to play around with it and maybe even uh film a little bit for this vlog but girlfriend just had to go look at cars so uh that's what took up pretty much the whole day that's fine though she's been wanting a car for a while so uh so uh, i think it's finally time to pull the trigger and at least one new one so we can get a bigger car, because you guys have seen the Kia. If you watch my videos, it's like a little tiny guy. So anything will be nice as far as a size upgrade goes. All right, so I don't know if by the time you guys watch this video, if it will be too late or not. But if not, this is the car she's the most interested in. So if you know anything about it and you want to throw some knowledge my way, please let me know, because I don't know all too much about these. Aside from uh, we did a little test drive and we both liked what we saw, how it drove. But anyways, it's called a 2016 Lexus NX200T F Sport front wheel drive. So if you know anything about them, please let me know. Maybe things to like, you don't like about it or you do like about it. If you have one, even better. If you've owned one before, even better. If not, it's all good. No worries either way though, because like I said, she really wants this thing and there's a chance it might be too late by the time I upload this video anyways. Anyways, that's going to be a wrap for this video because... 
We're about to go check out another one of these cars that I just found. The one I just told you guys about. Found a blue one with black interior that I personally like more. So we're gonna go check that one out. I also really have to do this review today. So that is the main goal for today's content. Finish editing this vlog, upload this, but do my unboxing slash review video for this little dash cam. Other than that, as I just mentioned, I'm gonna go, gonna go check out the blue one. But if you got any knowledge about that car, like I said, please drop that below. Cause I don't, I hate buying things that I'm not like 100% convinced on. And this is one of those things. So uh, yeah, that's how I'm feeling about that. But that's how the rest of the day is shaping out. Like I keep saying, this video was supposed to be about this guy, but sometimes life happens. Sometimes other things pop up and it is what it is. That's life, right? So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Promise for those people that are interested in cameras, if there are any you out there watching this, or if you got any questions or comments, or not questions, because like I said, I haven't had time to mess around with this guy. So I don't know too much about it, but if you have any comments about it, drop those below. If you got any questions or comments about the video, drop those below as well. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'll catch you in the next video. And as always, stay limitless. Take a shot, you got everything you'll ever need You fought, you're not gonna let up on the speed Those knots, thank God you were only make-believe Those